be a big one. We've got a big weekend ahead of us. We've got three days of tournament fishing coming up and it's all on the California Delta. Fellas, thanks Thank for having you. us, man. Yeah, okay. of course. Hey. You okay? I'm so loved. I helped myself. Hey, no problem. Am I doing everything? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Hello, friends. What up? All right, I'm calling an Uber. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Perfect. You getting back there? Yeah, I'll get back there. Pizza. Think you hold the whole world up, baby. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Later. all right. Here we are. We got a guest with us. We got a guest right. tonight. Say what's up to the people, Anthony. Well, what's up, Greg Lancher's followers? So we invited him so we can follow him. Yeah. We're just <laughs> anything that you know about the Delta in the last three years, you might as well throw yeah. it away. Yeah. All three days, if you can get like 82 inches, I would take that in a heartbeat. Yeah. West Coast Championship. Day one. Tomorrow, Day one. Three days of yep. tournament fishing. Three nights of fun. Man, that was a wet ride. Freezing, shivering. All right, junk fishing kind of day. Don't puncher, her, all right. This is gonna be a numbers deal. Just try to catch as many as you can. Hope by the end of the day, your five best are decent. Just the sheer odds running into a 14, 15 inch fish, come on. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yes, what are you gonna do for us? Thank you, sir. I think I just need to throw the frog the rest of the day. Try to get one big bite. Oh, please. We'll Chopo to the rescue. Day one, West Coast Championship is over. We're gonna need a pretty big bag tomorrow. One of the exciting things about fishing is that anything can happen on any given day. I'm gonna head in and we'll meet up with the crew. And I will see you in the next video as we continue on with this tournament weekend for Yakabass Day One, West Coast Championship Day Two. We'll see you then. A lot of small ones, right? Yeah, tons. That guy's just shaking them off like every few casts. It was a fun bite. A lot, yeah. of, lot of dinks, though. Man, cool. Jeez. Holy crap. Where'd you catch yours on? Mostly the chatter bait. This is what it is. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Neither do I. Alright, I'll follow you. All right. Did you get a fire? Yeah. Oh man, that was sketchy. That wind was. Dude, that wind is for four hours is crazy. That one channel, the San Joaquin, going like out of pirates to the right. Oh, you got your pirates? You said, oh yeah, you got the brunt of the wind. Dude, yeah. yeah that, oh yeah, I was hugging the bank. I I was literally drenched. So how did everyone else's day go? I caught two fish that <laughs> measured. I think it was cool. I was hungover, called it sick. Just chill. You're hungover? Yeah, oh, dude, I was I hurting. caught 30 fish, all 11 and 7 eighths. It's fun, though. Tight. We'll have to talk about you later. What happened, dude? You just left? I left at 10, and Pua got 99 inches there. Yeah, it, that's insane. You can take the. Uh, that's who Autumn was like. The someone Berkeley got 99 one, dude, inches named Pua. I'm like, like a Pawa or someone like that. Greg, where are we going tomorrow? I don't know. Yep, I don't know, man. I, uh, I have no idea. I'm not going back to this. What is it? Maybe BMW, but I I think it's the same as where I launched today. Dude, I think we gotta go to Tracy, dude. Or just let's go launch at Obie's house. Is there a launch in Disco? I know we can get. I'm gonna I'm gonna there. I'm gonna save. I don't know. I'm I'm playing defense tomorrow. Oh, uh, after Winter, oh really? Huh? Dude. I know. Who am I just took the lead? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's West Coast. I'm just though. saying he's on something, though. That's yeah. Cool, you know. Jesus, Bang, dude, that's wild. It's like a 25, 27 pound bag. Easy. Yeah. What's wild to me is that back in the day in the Delta, 100 inches was like guaranteed you had to have 100 to like win, you know? Now somebody finally got over 95 this year and we're like, whoa. 
I'm in a jersey. It was the third week of April. That's what it was. That's the only bite that I've got. Honestly, one or two more than they've had in the last four years. Hey! 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 Hey!
Who was Pooh. 10 points behind me and 13 points behind Greg? But it's the reality of what Pooh is doing is that a pattern that can be reproduced two days in a row. He said he hopes so. It's hard to say without like being there and seeing Well, I hope I catch a fish right. tomorrow. I, I will say, <laughs> if, if Pooh wins the West Coast, comes in first place, it's probably the same. I mean, I'm, he's I'm, gonna do just saying, well. like, to the viewers <laughs> out there, I don't know how confusing this is. Overlapping tournaments, AOI, the importance of each. But the fact of the matter is, Pua, who's in third, not by much for AOI, <coughs> is crushing on Friday West Coast Championship. And Yakabas Day One starts tomorrow, Saturday. So if he's on some giant fish, you're looking pretty uh, good. I'm like really hoping that he does well enough tomorrow to win the West Coast, but not good enough to like lead Yakabas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that no. fair to say? Or yeah, I want him to dominate the West Coast. He says well, that he, in a friendly way. He deserves it after yeah. today, but I don't want him to do like better than me. Tomorrow, well, I don't know so. how good I want you to do tomorrow. Um, better than you, hopefully. You know, what are you shooting for? That's like, like, what's your guys' goals? Fish Sunday for a few hours. Found some fish, so I, I'll be disappointed if I don't have like 88. I think, I think wow. 88 is like a, a doable number. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping oh to boy. Stuff. Somebody's confident. But I need, like, I have the first two hours of the tournament it has to work out for me, and if it doesn't, then I will not. So, it's a lot of, yeah, pressure's on. Well, I don't, I don't know about, you know, your viewers, but really the fight is right here. Yeah. Between 17th and 18th. Yeah, forget, forget, right forget, here. forget yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. 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 AOI. Yeah. the real Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> and they timed See, today. The old, the old timers. Yeah, we, we tied no, it no. up. We had two scorable bass. They were both the same size. Well, this is the story here. This is a great story. Yeah. This is a, this is like the the underdog story. Yeah, the comeback the, story. Yeah, Come the guy who didn't win the tournament. Story. This is kind of like Rudy in the movie Rudy. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Yakabass event number seven, second to last. We got one more after this. I feel like after this event. Well, here we go with this again. No, I'm just saying. For the last 27 videos, after this one, we're gonna know. No, we will not. <laughs> no. You guys are gonna finish within who's five Tony spots Danza of each other, and it's only gonna be a five up. point swing. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. These guys are right here. Big, big moment. We gotta take our fight picture. It's gonna be the end of a friendship over there. We're the start of a beautiful relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what are like the other? Second hey, Santa Claus and the heat miser. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Alder? My legs are real sweaty between <laughs> your guys. Do you mind? My armpits are sweaty when I'm touching your arm. This will be the first non-edited intro we've ever had. No, it's gonna be edited. <laughs> Well, yeah, we are now. well. Yeah, because we're exhausted. <laughs> yeah. so we just ate a three-pound bass. Yeah, yeah. We're awesome today. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's what the yeah. tournament yeah. is right. about. Man. Put a couple yeah. of salt yeah. Chris. Right. 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 Cheers. Here we go, guys. West Coast Championship Day 2, Yakabass Day 1. Let's see what happens here. We need a big day. Well, that's not even true. We don't need a big day. We need a okay day. I don't know. I'm not sure how many of you guys are a fan of this strategy, like playing defense, so to speak. But yeah, everything right now is focused on Yakabass. You're really just seeing what everyone puts up today and making a decision tomorrow, really on their results and my results. This is a spot we had some success during practice, but again, I think realistically, 73 inches plus or minus three is our best shot. If we get real lucky and find something great, that's a bonus, but not something I'm necessarily banking on.
switched over to the chatter. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, golly. Come on. Yes. Man, first... What was that first cast with the chatter rate? Jeez. It's like we weren't getting the top water that good. Or at all, really. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Dude, I got so lucky with that fish. He wasn't even hooked. He was just pinned. Not even hooked. Just pinned. Man, that's... That's a good one for me. I think that's the biggest fish I've caught in like five days on the Delta. As sad as that sounds. I finally caught a 16-incher. Goodness gracious. <sighs> Take that one to start. Guess we gotta go chatter. I wonder how many fish I fished over. We need those 16s. Crucial fish. Crucial fish. Nope. That's the size we were catching yesterday. I mean, still a whole ton of fun, but that 16 inch fish yesterday was eluding us. Really, that 14 inches were eluding us. say it, what simple changes can do sometimes. You could be going through an area with 100 inches of bass. If you're not using the right bait, you're gonna miss them all. Yesterday's fish, I think. Fourteen incher. Dang. We're going. Yesterday, the same bite, same pattern. On a higher tide, last part of incoming or first half of outgoing, just when that water's higher, these fish are sucked up on the bank. Except yesterday, just as I keep saying, yesterday they were all super small. We only had one that was actually of quality on the chatterbait using this pattern. The other two decent fish I had yesterday were on the frog and the chopo at like 1.30 over a grass flat. So that's kind of a trouble sometimes when you're catching fish. You get a false sense of security when they're dinks and you just think you can keep going with it and going with it. And in reality, yesterday I probably did this way too long. I wasn't trying to fish for the right fish. But if we're catching fish like this doing it, then no reason to put it down. smaller. Is that a keeper? Man. Can I keep? Ah. Five and a three quarter, but he's fat. Real fat. Uh, 
on now, guys. You're not supposed to be getting smaller. Four, 13 incher, whatever. Man, it's choking it though. Holy crap, they're choking it. Thirteen incher. Thank you, sir. Stay on it, stay on it, it's a big one. Yes, there we go, number five, it's big for me. Choking it too, man they're choking it. They are smashing this thing. You're a little hot for my liking. 15, right? and a quarter. I got him to touch. Alright, what do we have? There's number five. Right, we got a 15 and a quarter, a 16, I think a 14 and a half. Get rid of a 13, a couple of 13 change. Got a couple of 13s. Yeah. Man, I want to pick up a top water, but why would you right now? In certain situations I will. Every fish, for the most part, has this thing swallowed. Like, they're inhaling this thing. Oh. Try to stay off this little tule patch a little bit. Had like five bites in a row. Off it. I think they're stacked on it. They could be stacked on it. Yeah, they are still. Oh, that's a cute I think. A cold fish. Maybe? See, the hook is way back there. Eh, dang it. Should pay, pay attention to what we need. Mm, no. Probably shouldn't have boat flipped that. That was probably a little risky. <laughs> That's a call. I don't know though, sometimes when you reach for the net and you don't have them hooked real good, you lose that tension. Like, that's how you can lose them too. So, sometimes it's better just to flip them in the boat. It's a call fish, baby. First call of the day. I think we're gonna be on the plus three side of that 73 at this rate at least a couple 15 and a quarters 16 14 so we're gonna call out a 13 oh that's a big one stay on dude that's a big one. Oh, I thought it was way bigger. Dang it. You felt like you were a five pounder. I don't even know if that's gonna call. Oh, darn, I got excited. Man, that just felt like a big one. If we're gonna do any real damage today, we need a couple of kickers. 17, 18, 19 inch fish. And even though we're catching better ones right now, I mean, better than yesterday, I still don't really believe this is a technique where you have a chance at a big one. I think we're going to have to dedicate some time frogging and punching this afternoon.
I can get two more, if I can cull out these two ones under 15 with 15 plus inch fish, I'd be happy. Because then we'd be like 76, 77 and change, I think. And even if the guys in AOI right behind us crushed it with like 90, 95 inch bags, I could still technically make that up if I went swinging and hit the grand slam. Not to say that that would happen, but much easier to catch up when you've got 77 inches versus 73. Same fish? I don't know. It's not like a big swirl there, is the thing. was big but you never know. A little frog bite. A little froggy bite. Yeah, he's took it under. Just the legs I guess. A lot more time to fish. Frog, punch, chatter, get that big bite. Get rid of that 13 and a half. You gotta be here. You gotta be one of you. I mean, like statistically, thinking about it, including today, the last four or five trips on the Delta, I've caught. I don't know, it probably did matter. Not a big one, but finally a fish that I connected with. I only ate it too, that's good. No, I'm saying statistically, I've caught like. I don't even know how many fish. 60, 70 fish? No, probably more, like 80 fish. And the biggest one's been 16 inches. So you just think, even if I'm not even like around a lot of big fish, which I'm probably not, just like odds wise, going through that many fish, I'm bound to get one. It's the perfect time to throw a frog. Outgoing tide, dropping water stuff is fleeing the bank, fleeing the shallows, those areas that we were catching those chatterbait fish. All that bait, all those fish are moving. Moving out. And uh, man, a frog just coming out from the bank looks so juicy. All right, we're on a little bit of a frog bite here. I think the color change helped. 
They weren't getting the black and yellow very good. Over 13. I believe it gets rid of our 13 and a half. Maybe a 14. I'll take them. I will take them. Every little bit helps. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be a 14 all day. Oh, we got here. Oh, maybe not. Ah. Uh, pain in the butt, huh? Wow, that doesn't call. It's a 13 and a half. Crap. That sucks. Bummer. Yeah. You gonna be 14 there, buddy? I think it's the same size. 13. 13. Yep, dude, it's a clone. A clone! They seem kind of big though when they jump. The mouth comes open. We got a frog bite in practice. Dang it, not gonna do it. grass for a split second and then they feel like they're still a lot bigger than they are I mean, at least we're catching fish though it's definitely a lot more fun than you know a grinder bite where you're not even getting bit you're just looking to get bit here we're getting bit still looking for the big one Doing the right stuff, catching the wrong fish. What can you do? There's my little buddy. <laughs> God, this dude is tiny. Oh, 
bad these fish are, man. Guts. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna do it. Wild. Another 13 and a half inch fish. Just clones. Clones, clones, clones. Ten eighteen. Day is half over. Bite has slowed down a little bit. I think you know just how it is, especially when the tide drops, sun gets up out on the delta. Morning bite's always real good, but I'd say in the uh, last half of each tournament, or really in a day, though we might have fewer bites, I think there's a better opportunity to call and get a bigger fish. Yeah, just gonna keep grinding, guys. Grinding away, looking for any upgrade I can get. chasing it too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, another dinker. I don't think you are. Dinker. Oh, you know what? You might be. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Fish are all close. I think we got a tiny, tiny call finally. The tiniest of calls, I think. Four, ooh, 14 inches. All right, half inch. Half inch call, I'll take it. Got rid of a 14 now. Uh, I don't think that's gonna do it, is it? Dang it. Uh, man, oh man. fish under it apparently there it's weird like I'm, I'm used to getting punch fish like on the fall or maybe after one or two hops I think I need to play with it a bit more down there
Dude, there is a bunch of fish under this mat. You know, that's sad, but I think that's 14 inches. I think that is a 14 inch on the nose. Aren't you? 14 incher on the nose. other mats here hope it's not just this mat there's like five more pretty good sized mats up here I'm telling you they're not really eating it that good I guess maybe they're just all small just one big bite man and we're on fish it's just we're not in the right area of the Delta where the big ones are swimming around You guys can't be like any bigger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be a giant man. Oh my god. No. Oh no. Oh no. And it I you know what? It just hit two o'clock. I don't even think that would have counted because we wouldn't have got it in time. Uh the photo I'm saying. Oh, oh my god. Holy crap. I cannot believe it is two o'clock right now. I don't know how big that fish was. I think it would have helped. I'll have to look at the footage. I kind of don't even want to look at the footage. See that moment right there, that's how fish stories happen. You know fish stories? When you get back at the ramp and your buddy says he lost a giant? Well, we'll see on camera what that fish looked like. Oh, tournament over guys. West Coast Championship, day two over. Yakabass day one over. Got about what I thought we'd get, like 74 and change, which is kind of on the upper end, I'd say. Just, ah, oh, man, I cannot believe we can't get a big bite out here with the exception of maybe that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Looked at the standings a few times. People crushed them again today. So, I mean, clearly we're not in the right part of the Delta. Yeah, we'll just have to see how uh, the standings are and the people that we're looking out for, how they did and make a decision on where we go tomorrow. We'll uh, head to the awards for West Coast Championship and see you guys back at the house. We'll recap these two days. Whew. Championship over Yakabass day one over two days of tournament fishing over and we still got another one left. I'm over. Yeah, yeah. We, it's been I don't want to say it's been tough, but it's been we, I think we have been like a curse. Like our group, we usually do good in all the tournaments except the West Coast Championship. We all suck. Dude, I did pretty good. Like 65, uh, 75 is. No, it's tough out there. Small fish is the name of the game. Results. 
West Coast Championship. We just had the awards. I'll show the interview right now. This is your day one West Coast Championship leader with almost 100 inches. Backed it up today. Probably, you probably won West Coast Championship. It's not for sure yet. Yeah. For two days, you got about 185 inches or so. 187 and a half. Yeah. 187. Yeah. Holy crap. Third place in AOI for Yakabass is the guy that we keep mentioning. Kind of chasing this guy. Creeping, creeping right I'm just behind us. Greg. <laughs> no. Well, him down. But man, this thing, uh, yeah, we've touched on it a few times at the group. AOI race. It's going to be close, man. It's going to come down to TOC. TOC. That's, that's, that's ultimately what it is. Uh, yeah. Any uh, the guy that's chasing can do awesome, and the guy that's in the league can blank right. from TOC. So anything can happen yeah. still. You just have to wait and see. You're, you're fishing good, though. You're on kind of a roll. You've, I mean, you're, you're finishing the season strong. Obviously, we got another day to fish Yakabass, but you're on some big fish. I hope they stay there tomorrow, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we definitely got a race. It's going to come down to the last event for sure. And, uh, it'll, be, it'll be exciting. It'll be some drama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, good luck. Good luck. All right, man. Yeah, Pua, gotta shout out Pua. 187.5 for two days. Win the West Coast Championship. He's right there for Yakabas AOI. Bam's a boat guy. He caught 99 and a half on day one, 88 on day two. What do you think that is for two days? 25 pounds or so, like easy, and probably like like 17 pounds or so on day two. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 42 ish pounds. Yeah. I can compare him to the 750, 11.75 well, I caught. They didn't weigh 20 pounds all. 50 of them today. I do kind of feel like we almost asked for Pula dominating this tournament. We did. We played the last, so hard. In the yeah. last tournament, we're like, it's you and I, but maybe Pula will come I voted on. for Pula. Yeah, I voted for Pula. Yeah, but it's like, hang on, don't forget. Like, Pula's right there. So we'll, we'll go on to like the other man of the hour. Well, AOI, second yeah. place going to this tournament, bam. Got high hopes. Especially, you know, I had a decent day last weekend and then seeing the bags that came. You know, came yesterday, I was like, all right, it's, it's going to go down. And then, uh, yeah, it just didn't go down. <laughs> I <laughs> had some bites that would have been real good, and I just I couldn't bring them to the boat. It was just one of those days. So, but you're not out of it. No, I just need like 105 inches tomorrow. So, I mean, I haven't done that in like three years. So tomorrow's, a good, tomorrow's a good day for it. Top five right now for Yaka Bass is 86.75. Six places, 81 and a half. And we'd imagine the bite was tougher tomorrow, right? Maybe. That's the delta. It was true. It might just skunk. Everyone in the whole thing might skunk tomorrow. I can just get a limit nobody else does, and I can take it. There you go. <laughs> Easily winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's just go around the table. We can do a brief uh, synopsis of the day. Oli, how'd you do? Oli, I think, did the best. I, I had a fun day. Caught yeah. a lot of fish. Junk fishing. 79 inches. Yeah. Doing pretty good. Sitting in the top 10 for 11th. 11th. Nice. I didn't know that. Good job, Oli. Thanks, buddy. Mike. I had a great day. I caught 50 fish. They all were identical size. I'm gonna cough. This isn't a laugh. This work. We we're in like the similar area. I feel like right now in that area of the delta, there's just a lot of 10 to 13 and a half inch fish. Cause that was that was pretty much what I did. I don't know how many 70 inch bags I put up today. Probably about five 70 inch bags up today. 13 and a half inch fish. Just couldn't get a big. Mine bag. were 11 and three quarters. I was like fishing aquarium for hatchlings. So. <laughs> Dude, but grinder, grinder for me. I was hoping to upgrade and just didn't really happen. Maybe potentially. Lost a giant at the end. What's the rule? What's like the a rule? giant 16 incher? Picture has to be taken before. Wait, who? Oh, it is does. it 159 and 59 seconds? Is yeah. that is it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, who lost a giant? I, I did. You did? I, maybe. Potentially. Oh. <laughs> yes! Maybe maybe 22. Yeah. Oh, really? Whatever. Anyways, Terrence. Yeah, I, uh, I got a limit early. Only cold, I don't know, three and a half inches. Best catch, though, was a catfish swimming by the boat, and I caught it with my net. That's awesome. I thought that was, that was pretty cool. Nice. Bam, <laughs> you're good. It was rough. Every good fish. I, I had the bites to do pretty good. I, I think if you, I, if you landed everything. I think it would have been like mid to high 70s, you know, so I would have been in a much better position. I, I didn't, like, crush it, but I think... Okay. To so, quote Bam, so. I am not having fun right now. <laughs> <laughs> as you said, it is the Delta. Would you agree, of all places in the country, as far as shakeups go, tournament fishing, Delta is probably the one that could be the most drastic change. As far as I've experienced. Dude, I feel like, like hours. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. crazy. Two uh -huh. inches? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, speaking of the coach, coach, we heard you were very excited early on. I was. No, I, I, I caught, I think, six keepers probably in 20 minutes. That was basically all the keepers I caught all day. Caught 50, 12-inch fish. Moral of the story is mostly tough, but tomorrow we get another day. Day two of the Akabas. Yeah. AOI, this is the second-to-last tournament of the year. Speaking of AOI, newsflash, Terrence has taken it. 
He oh, could, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if he blinks tomorrow, yeah. he could eliminate Terrence will blink. It's never Terrence over. The main. I, I still think that it'll come to the last tournament. Between you, yeah. myself, and Pua. All right, All right. guys. All right. We got one more day of tournament fishing. Are you guys excited? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. excited. One more day of fishing. Well, good luck. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, One more day. Yeah, Terrence. Good luck tomorrow. <laughs> good luck, buddy.